Hey everybody, Cody Nelson with Covercraft Kings. Out here on May 6th uh, in central Minnesota. Just wanted to go through and look at some of these fields. Uh, I wanted to show you this one in particular. We got a field that was 22 inch corn and it was actually uh, aerial applied to winter cereal rye. There was some radishes, turnips. And I think there was some rapeseed out here too. And I just wanted to show you, we've had a really cool slow spring and we're getting some green up finally uh, but it is slow the whole field's green we've got decent cover over it it's nothing like our friends to the south have but well, i want to talk to you today about uh, managing this profitably and and using it to our advantage what we do have uh, remember may is the month to build carbon so we we don't want to just go ahead because the field's starting to green up and it's starting to warm up and, and terminate it right away. We want to take advantage of uh, the time that we do have and it will start to warm up. So a little bit of history on this particular field that we're in. It has been in a corn soybean rotation uh, for several years and he's always done no-till soybeans and he would do one tillage pass actually in the fall um, prior uh, at, you know, to incorporate some fertilizer. Uh, he is now transitioning to 100% no-till. So that's, that's where we're at now. This is the first year, he, uh, even on a soybean stubble, um, it'll be the first year 100% no-till with that. Um, he's also used uh, turkey litter and chicken litter. So uh, that's where we're at on the farm today. Uh, we've got got a pretty good stand of rye. It's starting to come, and I know I don't think it's showing through on the video very well. But but the field is green. I can see green all the way down uh, to the end of the field. So anyhow, here's how how are we going to manage this? And we always talk about managing out of control cover crops, but we really need to talk about how to manage. Uh, these shorter cover crops and to get the most bang for our buck on out of them. So what we need to do is is first off just let it go. Let's 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 let it grow for a while. Go out and plant your corn. Uh, let this stuff continue to grow, um, and then come back in uh, when, whenever we plant beans. I, I urge you, especially in a wet year like we're having, do not terminate before planting. Um, it's just not safe, uh, especially if you're used to cooler, uh, wetter soils. Uh, I would I would strongly urge uh, to stay away from terminating ahead of planting. What if it gets wet? What do you got there to use up moisture? At that point in time, we're just covering the ground. Uh, it's a little different when you get into drier, uh, more arid environment. But if you've got a uh, cool, wet northern climate, uh, we definitely want to we want to do whatever we can to let this stuff grow as long as possible. So, with that being said, uh, we do have to follow some of the rules and restrictions. Uh, I don't think the rules are really all that smart, but the, but but they are what they are. So, um, you know, best case scenario would be to plant your soybeans and come back two to three weeks later and terminate the rye. Um, at at least three weeks. Uh, last year had a few guys that actually went out and, and rolled the rye when the soybeans were at second leaf um, and and just they actually just used a smooth drum roller it worked great uh, didn't even have to use a herbicide still harvested over 60 bushel beans that was in Minnesota uh, so that's that's one way of doing it um, you know we've got the herbicides so just we can come out and and you know use select you can use roundup depending upon the variety of the soybeans you've got all sorts of options there uh, i like the roller crimper idea um, so anyways there's there's several options of things that we can do um, but we want to let this rye get as big as possible so take advantage of the month of may don't go ahead and terminate too early and and please let it grow for a while uh, do not get scared of of your field starting to green up um, and and no we're not as fortunate especially not the last this year or last year uh, as we had been in years past uh, of getting the big cover crops but that's what we want to get we want to get this stuff as big as possible take advantage of of 
harvesting that solar energy and, and pumping that carbon back into your soils and starting to build this system. We can do it. It's going to take some time. It doesn't happen overnight, but we definitely, we definitely need to, to be patient with these covers and, and let them grow here through the month of May. And don't be, don't be afraid. Even if you wait for planting a little bit, let these, let these cover crops grow out a little bit. Um, it's just that that's been some of the biggest issues is terminating early and then you ask how do you pay for the covers well you're not gonna pay for them if you're gonna plant them late and kill them early they're not really gonna do you much good and I know we've, we, we've had a couple cool wet springs and, and it's it's really slowed down the spring growth but um, I'm just gonna urge you to, to let it grow uh, even if you go plant the beans same time you normally would um, you know get done with get done with planting corn uh, go out and plant some beans and they do really, really well together. Now, that's where you, you know, you gotta make sure you're gonna still qualify for crop insurance, uh, assuming you're still using it. So, uh, anyways, I, I wanna show you up here, there's a couple drowned out spots. And there's, well, up on this one, I see that the, the rise coming around the edge, but I can tell you what happened last year, the turnips and radishes just overtook those spots and they grew tremendously and they really choked out the rice so that's why we're seeing some of the, the black spots in there but i can tell you uh, a year ago this thing held water much better than it's holding it now so i think we are starting to fix some of the water infiltration issues here um, but we just we've got we've still got some work to do so we're gonna let this rye field grow out and we'll come back to it later and and uh, see see what it looks like Make sure you subscribe to Cover Crop Kings. Um, like the video, share it. We want to get this, get the word out. We want to help help everybody else manage our cover crops profitably. So uh, take advantage of May. Happy planting. Hope all is well. Have a good day.